Did you hear about the update for the CISA Plus exam from CompTIA? Hi, I'm Daniel, an edutainer at IT Pro TV. Here's what's going on. Of course, as things do, they evolve, they change. Things are different than they were yesterday, and we have to grow and adapt to that. CompTIA has seen this, and as, as they do, they issue regular updates to their exams to make sure that they are following with current industry standards. CISA Plus has seen that happen, and in Q2 of 2020, we're gonna see an update to the CISA Plus exam. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look. Let's jump into CompTIA's website and see what they have to say about that. If you go to comptia.org forward slash certifications forward slash cybersecurity dash analyst, that should get you to the page that I'm on right here. As I scroll down, it does give me a big warning right here in red letters that the new CompTIA CISA Plus exam is coming in Q2 of 2020. That's what we're talking about, obviously. But if you scroll down even farther, there's some exam details and it's gonna kind of show you the side-by-side -side comparison with the current exam that you can take right now if you go into a testing booth and get that CISA Plus certification versus what's coming in 2020. Just some, uh, some differences in focus is what I'm seeing so far and maybe a little bit as far as the experience goes. So in the exam descriptions, we're seeing that uh, with the current CISA Plus exam, you have certification that verifies successful candidates have uh, the skills required to configure and use threat detection tools, uh, perform data analysis, interpret results, and identify vulnerabilities, threats, and risks to an organization with the end goal of securing and protecting applications and systems within them. Very, very straightforward. And then over here, it says that it's leveraging intelligence and threat detection techniques, kind of similar verbiage. Analyze and interpret data, again, seeing that as well. Identify and address vulnerabilities. Suggest preventative measures, so going further into mitigations. Uh, and effectively respond to and recover from incidents. So incident response and incident handling is gonna be a bigger focus. I've also seen some uh, documentation that talked about more secure coding practices. Can we look at code and find vulnerabilities there? So that's gonna be a, a shift of focus just a bit in the exam description. The number of questions haven't changed, length of the test, the type of questions that you'll see, all the same, passing scores, all that good stuff. Recommended experience, a bit of a change there as well. Instead of three to four years uh, experience plus network plus and, and security plus as a recommendation, now they're just saying a minimum of four years of hands-on experience and maybe also a network plus and um, security plus to help you out with that. That should be a good gauge of where you should be knowledge-wise before you take the exam. One last thing I wanna cover here is the retirement age. You can see the current retirement for the current exam is going to be in October 2020. That means you got a bit of time if you're already preparing and studying for the current CISA Plus exam. Fear not, you can still take it up until October. When April comes around, which is when it said that it's going to drop the new exam, that kind of leaves you in a quandary maybe. You may be questioning, well, should I shift gears? Should I shift focus and start studying for the new exam? That's a great question. And basically, if you've invested a lot of time and effort already into the current exam, go ahead and take it. it you, that might be what you wanna do. But if you're the kind of person that says, you know what, I just go ahead and I'll wait for the next one, I'll go with that as well. If you haven't uh, spent a lot of time and effort already in investing into the current CISA Plus exam, you may wanna go ahead and hold off on that until the next exam drops and then start your study process and prepare for that. So you got a couple options on your plate. I just wanna give you the information so you can make an informed decision. That being said, I'm Daniel, and this has been a critical update with IT Pro TV.